trying to keep it cool and just trying to keep an explosion from happening. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Callaway, Minnesota, where a crash between a train and a semi truck caused a city evacuation. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Christine Stanwood. Several train cars are derailed. None of them were carrying hazardous materials. However, the semi truck was carrying propane and started on fire. Callaway is located right on Highway 59, just about 20 minutes north of Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. That's where Valley News Team's Natalie Parsons joins us live with more. Natalie, what can you tell us? Christine, the plan is now to just keep the tank cool and allow it to burn out on its own. The driver of the truck has no reported injuries, but two people on the train were treated for non-life-threatening injuries. Law enforcement made uh, went door to door a little before 1 p.m. this afternoon, evacuating those in the town of Callaway, and the Red Cross has come to help. You always hope that these things never happen, but when, when they do, we be as we're as prepared as we can. And I guess that's just as far as things go, as chaotic as can be, everybody has their roles and knows what they're doing. We work together very well. I think that's you know been, been a big part for what I'm seeing today for things going as smoothly as they can. If you're driving along Highway 59, your north detour is going to be Becker County Road 14, and your south detour will be Becker County Road 26. Local, county, and state agencies are working as a team in an effort to make sure the situation does not take a turn for the worst. In Callaway, Minnesota, Natalie Parsons, Valley News Live. All right, thanks, Natalie. Officials tell us the semi-tanker has to burn off about 9,000 gallons of propane. The explosion concern comes with a larger propane tank sitting nearby at the elevator, which holds about 10,000 more gallons. We'll have much more on the story tonight on Valley News Live 10 at 10.